The government of Guyana and the United Nations Children's Fund yesterday afternoon signed a memorandum of understanding to conduct the sixth multiple indicator cluster survey in Guyana. Here's that story. The MOU was signed by Finance Minister Winston Jordan and UNICEF Representative Sylvie Foyer in the boardroom of the Ministry of Finance. The minister expressed satisfaction with the contributions being made by UNICEF. Over the years, this UN agency has been very supportive in providing meaningful statistical data to Guyana and other developing countries around the world through the multi-cluster indicator, indicator survey, also known as MIX. This support has enabled governments to have access to a wide range of statistical data, primarily in the social sector, to aid them in filling the data gaps that exist in their countries. Minister Jordan said that through this support, UNICEF has been able to build the capacity of local staff through survey design collection and analysis of data. This year, UNICEF has raised the bar by introducing the use of technology. Those who participate in the field exercises will be provided with tablets, which will allow for the swift and effective transmittal of data using these devices to the central office. UNICEF representative Sylvie Foyer highlighted the importance of the MICS. As we know, we are in a time where um, reliable data are very powerful to influence decision. And we're always hearing often, but we don't have the baseline, we don't have the information, how we can show progresses. So really the mix, as Michael reminded us, is uh, over since 95, so almost you know a decade or even two decades, um, that we have those data so we can also show the trends. In 2014, MICS 5 was conducted and garnered support from the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs and the Ministry of Communities. It was a source of data for the Green State Development Strategy and Guyana's Country Implementation Plan. MICS 6 is slated to end in 2019 and is estimated to cost 1 million US dollars. It was said that the cost will be divided evenly between UNICEF and the government. Reporting for InfoHub, Alexis Rue. <music>